Hello and welcome to The Geek Show. I am Rob and today we're talking about Override Mech City Battle. Now if you want to hear a little bit more, see my face and talk to some of the team behind the promotion and the development of uh, this game, you can head over to the video that's been eyed at the top hand corner of the screen now and give that a look-see from back in EGX last year, 2018. Now, uh, personally speaking, this is a game that I, and I imagine a lot of people have been waiting for for a long time. Not so much this in specific, more of what it represents. Um, if you date it all the way back to, in my case anyway, the arcades and the Mega Drive or whatever it was called in America, its name evades me. And there was a franchise called Rampage in which it was made into a movie uh, last year or the year before, I can't remember how recent it was. Which was vaguely successful, even if it was a, a vehicle for the rock, called Rampage, in which you and a variety of monsters competed against each other, beating up buildings and, you know, just generally causing havoc. The dream was, you know, what if that was 3D? The game that that always could have been on a 3D scale. There's been many attempts at that, and um, there's been PlayStation versions of. Godzilla, I think there was one on the PS4 in the last few years, and for all intents and purposes, it were rubbish. Now this, using the sort of um, more popular, more contemporary sort of idea of Pacific Rim, and Saturday morning cartoons, like the sequel of Pacific Rim, you have Override, this, in which you pick from a plucky group of robots, the one here is kind of the mascot for the game, because... It's so idiosyncratic, it just looks like a, a gangly thing made out of computer parts, and that's just fun. That's kind of the narrative that's uh, put upon him in arcade mode too. And But a, a plucky group of robots and machines fight off a series of monsters to save the world. Um, this is very Saturday morning cartoon. Uh, each of the robots has their own theme. Which is which is cool, um, but I set up the cards. I've set up the um, what this game is. Um, it was very popular at EGX. Just going back a little bit as well. There was always a crowd, and it was very hard to get a go at it. In fact, it was one of the games where I really wanted to have a go, but I never got around to it. So then, then just the bricks. But uh, now it's out. Um, it's very online centric, and I'll get to that later. But how it plays um, you might have noticed in the gameplay there with the robot face dude uh, whose name is evading me because let's be honest the names aren't especially um, memorable I mean Shifu Mega Gekon it's you just remember him by the look and by the fame personally speaking um, but the combat for um, the robot face guy vintage he's called He's quite awkward. Um, you control the punches with the shoulder button, so the right shoulder buttons control the right limbs, the left, so forth and so on. Um, and you pick up items and equip weapons, and you've got like super finishes, which you'll see in this bit of robot gameplay with Mega Gekon, I believe his name was. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, but generally speaking, it's very simple. So this is not a sort of game you can confuse with a beat em up whether you're talking about something hardcore like uh, the Blaz Blue and that company, or Street Fighter, or Dead or Alive, or whatever variation of Virtua Fighter, whatever variation in this sort of thing. It's much more of a... It's designed as much more of a pick it up with your mates and have a mess about with it game. Um, but there's combos, but it's very basic when there's just four buttons, and yeah, it doesn't give a lot of sort of depth uh, for that sort of market. It is fundamentally for the people who I was referencing, who I am one of, funnily enough. You know, those people who grew up wanting a large scale Godzilla, a large scale, scale Rampage, a large scale Kaiju, or just giant robot game. Um. And it's fun to a degree, because it's always fun to romp, romp around the area with a giant robot and just 
make a mess and kill things and punch things in the face and make buildings explode. That's cathartic. That's fantastically cathartic. Um, my problem with it is it's, it's, it's a lack of depth, you know. Um, if it had like a franchise that would attach itself to, I think it could do a bit more with the moves, but because it has to balance a lot of different themes for it, a lot of different, a lot of different robots, a lot of different places, a lot of different things. It's trying to be a lot of things at the same time. It has to be basic enough to be graspable for everybody, and with the Saturday morning cartoon theme, it does feel especially with it being so easy, like it's aiming towards a younger audience, at least in the arcade mode. Um, I mean, I have fun with it, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it feels like it's also um, tailored towards online a little bit too much. Um, personally speaking, I like game multiplayer to be I'm sat in the room with someone side by side, or, you know, not at all. Um, so sports games work particularly well, stuff which I can't see who I'm playing with doesn't really do it for me and this game is very much made with that in mind um, it feels where, as you can see here in the interview if you clicked it above or if you listen to it after this um, you can combat it. you can co-op you can co-op co-op combativeness that was what I was trying to say but I tripped over my tongue and yeah, it, when much of a game is given over to that um, I feel a little bit left out and uh, maybe the game could have been developed a little bit more if it was I don't know if woulda shoulda coulda end of the day really I feel like uh, it's not the game that I've been waiting for all these years it feels like maybe it's a good first step a fantastic first step even but as far as it being the game which Rampage and all of its monsters set up um, Pacific Rim hinted at the potential of a franchise of a game for, well, hinted in my mind at least. It feels like a halfway house, and I don't want to pick on an independent developer because of that. They can only work with what they have, um, but as well as it being a halfway house, as in it's like a first good step towards what it could be, it's also, it sings the praises of the indie game market, I think. Uh, people like me, I don't develop games. Never will be able to want certain types of games. So instead of hoping that, oh, I hope this AAA um, developer does it, I hope they do it. Therefore, you know what? We'll do it. This is the game we've always wanted to play. And even though it's not as super successful as it could have been, and in some regards it's a little bit vanilla with the sort of very broad themes, it's also, you know, at least someone's trying and at least it's. A, a level to build from if the, this is successful and I genuinely hope it does it's something to build future games from it's something to get more expansive it's something to get a bit more invigorating and uh, expressive and different with so um, as far as the titles of these videos goes is it worth playing? Uh, yes but only if you genuinely genuinely clamoring for this sort of thing if you're not well then i don't know i can't really recommend it beyond that but isn't that what all games are past a certain point it's if it's for you play if it's for not maybe give it a wide berth and uh yeah that is override mech city brawl thank you for watching comment or like or subscribe. But until next time, please stay with the Geek Show. I have been Rob, and catch you later.